One of the unique characteristics of the wild blueberry business in Maine is that uh, we are managing a native crop that the Native Americans did uh, a thousand years ago. The wild blueberry business in Maine really got organized in the mid-1800s. Wild blueberries are only grown and managed in the eastern part of North America. Maine is roughly half the industry and Canada is roughly half the industry. When you go to the broader blueberry market, which includes the cultivated high bush, uh, again, North America has been the main production area, but they're starting to be produced more in places like uh, South America. The low bush is wild, and the high bush grows six foot trees or eight, four or five foot, and the wild are only about six or eight inches tall. They're raking by hand, they'll take three, two, two three feet long, and, and they just, the birds below the ground, they just scoop them up. And dump them in the bucket until they fill the bucket. And later on, they come along with the track and pick up all these buckets and tuck them into the plant. Back in the old days, it was all canned blueberries, and then they got so frozen, sadly taken over, and we had to build a freezer plant. We built the plant around 30 years ago. They come into the plant, and then they're weighed, and they're dumped on a conveyor belt that runs up through a winning machine that blows out all the leaves and stuff. Then they go over a shaker. The berries will drop down through, and they go down into a big washer. And by that time, there's pretty much nothing but blueberries. The berries are quick frozen. The temperature is 80 below zero. They come out around 8, 10 degrees below. When I started, it was just oh, probably 8 or 10 processes of canned blueberries in Maine. No frozen berries back in those days. And eventually, as the frozen berries come along, all of a sudden, the number of processes dropped. So now I think there's only five processes left in Maine that freeze blueberries. See, back in the old days, we had brokers in probably about eight or 10 different states. And we'd ship them days by train. And they'd put them in a warehouse out where they, where they were, and they'd sell them from the warehouse, 10 cases here and 20 cases there, and maybe 100 once in a while. The price to growers have, it has been roughly double what it was in the late 90s, uh, triple what it was uh, at a low point. Uh, and so I've heard prices have ranged from uh, oh, high 80 cents to a dollar a pound zone. The profit's been good the last few years. Now whether it'll stay that way, I don't know. Whether the whole supply of cultivated. They're beginning to raise those calibrated all over the world now, and they claim instead of talking millions of pounds of blueberries, you're going to be talking billions. So I don't know how that's going to affect the wild, because we've still got a premium, but it's still, if the other people aren't getting too much money, it's going to keep the price of the wild down too. Uh, one of the concerns of the wild blueberry business is because of the strong uh, demand for blueberries, our cultivated cousins, or the high bush uh, blueberries, have planted many, many more acres. And over the next uh, five or six years, we expect their crop to uh, roughly double. So one of the challenges, uh, while we're a different product and we have differentiation in that we're the wild, uh, small, low bush wild blueberry, we're still a blueberry. So we're tied to the blueberry in the fruit market and in so much as uh, if they start to develop a glut in the marketplace, then that could uh, be a challenge for our growers and processors. Demand for blueberries is unbelievable. Blueberries were popular, but they weren't an item that people would pay a big price to get and tell the health things that. They have some cancer prevention. There's nothing definitive from the standpoint of human trials. There is a lot of great evidence based on the animal trials that they are bioactive and things like uh, older rats having better memory uh, than uh, younger rats if they've consumed uh, wild blueberries in their diet. Pretty much 100% sold out from last year, but now 
there are big demand for blueberries.